You're probably wondering why I'm running. Well, it's nothing serious, but there are two reasons. First, I thought I just used the opportunity to just practice some running, you know, just in case there might come a situation where I need to be faster than someone else. Second reason, I kind of got a long way ahead of me, but very little daylight left. So, what am I up to? Let me get to a high point so I can show you. Come on. Nice. Well, it's kind of foggy and rainy. It might be a bit tough to see. But over there in the distance, it is. This is a power plant, a coal power plant. And I want to go inside. Okay, let's better get down here before someone calls support authorities or something. Damn, mate, this place is dusty. Look at this. down there just hanging out this looks kind of cool let's get going First of all, let me tell you a bit about that power plant. It was first booted up in 2013 and officially used since 2015. But then in 2021, it was shut down. The reason is the country I'm in here made some plans and some laws for not using coal anymore till some year. So they shut it down. So because it's not used anymore, this power plant, I'm not expecting that many people over there. And also not very strong security measures. So the main goal for today is um, to spend the night inside. The plan essentially is just gonna walk around, take a look, well, and then I'm gonna show you around. If I'm not gonna get kicked out. So let's see how that goes. There's a camera over there, but I don't see any infrared lights. That's good. There's a the camera over there. I'm not quite sure, but I think I saw a person sitting inside there. Okay, we've got another entrance over there. And there are cars. We've got another entrance here, but there's also a camera. Okay, I just found a weak point. See that bridge here? It goes over to that other property. And this other property seems to be less secured. I mean, I saw some opportunities to go on to that property. Then we could climb that bridge, go over it, and then climb back down and we're in. So that's one option. Okay, I'm not sure if you can see this because it's pretty dark here already. Basically, the idea is to get over there walk along that wall all the way to that ladder over there and climb that one up and we're in i'm just looking for cameras oh there's one camera over there right right where the wall begins mm. but i don't see any cameras over there of all i have the impression cameras are only placed at a at entrances and not throughout the property 
but we'll see about that. I didn't see a, I didn't see an infrared light, so maybe I'm gonna wait a bit more until it's darker. First, let me increase my blood sugar levels a bit, so I get enough energy. In case I need to run. This is chocolate. That was good. Okay, I'm gonna go down here now. It's kind of slippery, basically sliding down here. I just have to figure out how to get over here. So let's see if we can go around that fence. Oh yeah, that looks promising. It's kind of slippery. I don't got... Ooh, I don't got boots on. Uh, quiet. Okay, I'm at the wall, currently in a blind spot. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna walk all the way to the end and I'm gonna hide somewhere at the end just in case someone spotted me on the camera and is coming here to check. Hey, you don't see it but there's an animal. Maybe a, uh, I don't know the English word. Kinda good to have some company. I walk pretty far from the spot where I entered. So, I'm just gonna take a little peek over the edge and see what the situation is and kind of try to spot some cameras. No cameras on the left, at least I don't see any. Then the distance is a car, multiple cars, and I also don't see any cameras on the right. Ah, shadow. Hello. It just looks so cool with all the lights. Like I'm in a sci-fi movie. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is take a ladder, go up along the wall to that staircase, to that bridge. Goes all the way up to that blob. Get inside hopefully, and then warm up a bit. Okay, it's the last letter. Are you guys ready? I think I'm ready. Oh wait, I need to pee. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. No people inside. Let's get some cover over here. bit scared because everything is wet and slippery. Good. This worked out nicely. Let's check if I can open it from the inside. Yes, I can. Good. Ah, oh, there's a camera. But it's not pointing in my direction. This is so steep. Got that net below me. I don't want to fall. Nice, we're inside. Okay, just to tell you what this is, 
the way we came up into this building was also the way the coal went up into this building. So the coal went along here, over there, and then, um, I don't know. Let's find out. So this, is, so this is where the coal went down. And I think these cylinders were rotating to move the conveyor band on which the coal was lying. good that the wind is making all those noises because then if I make a noise it's not gonna be suspicious at least as long as I don't make weird noises these are some kind of sensors but I'm not sure for what maybe just for the kind of cold particles in the air Basically for dust. I don't know. Oh, look. There's a vacuum cleaner. Here's the plan of a power plant. So what I want to do is I want to find the burning chamber. See how it looks like. And then follow the pipes for the steam and go to the room of the generator. a bit because the wind also makes it hard for me to tell if it really is the wind or maybe another person. I think we're on the right track. This is the belt system so the coal goes there. Let's follow it. Now this looks interesting. Big black hole. Let me get my flashlight out. I think it's hard to see for you on camera. But damn, this is a big chamber. And you can see over here. This is coal. This kind of object over there can move on these rails and distributing the coal inside this chamber. So Right at the bottom of this chamber, I think there's a connection to the burning chamber. <laughs> By the way, there are a lot of dust particles floating in the air. It looks actually kind of beautiful. Okay, let's try to find the burning chamber. Dude, this place is labyrinth, but I like labyrinths. This place sort of reminds me of Star Wars, of the Death Star. Ooh, what's this? A constant hangar. There's a huge spring in here. It's connected to that, I think it's a pipe. There's another one of these. Also connected to that pipe. You see these kind of devices everywhere. Also, it's connected to this pipe. 
was thinking maybe it's for dampening vibration. It's why there's a spring inside. Oh wait, so this thing said constant hanger. So maybe whatever goes through those pipes, it causes the weight of the pipe to vary a lot. And in order to keep those pipes at a constant height, there's a spring inside. Meaning the higher the weight of the pipe, the stronger it pulls on these hangers. But the stronger you pull on a spring, the stronger the uh, contraction force of the spring is and thereby keeping the forces balanced and therefore the pipe at equal height. That's just a theory. If any one of you knows better, please let me know. Right in the middle of this building is this inner core. This sign says, warning hot surfaces. So maybe it is the burning chamber. Huh, it's a good hiding spot. I'm gonna take note of that in case I get hunted. I think it's just gonna go down all the way to the bottom. We are ground level now. What is this? It's massive. Let's get up there. I want to see inside. What the hell is this? Oh, wait. There's a bit of coal down there. And I think this is a mill. And this is what it said on some sign. It's a coal mill. So the coal is coming from up there, it falls inside here, gets crushed by these giant wheels and then goes to the edge and inside these gaps. But what happens then? Let's go down again. Okay, so the mill is up there. This then could be the motor to rotate the mill. Also a good hiding spot. Pretty dusty. Ah, look at this. I think the coal might come out here. And this makes sense because you see these buckets over there? Let me show you. I mean these buckets. And they fit nicely under that exit pipe. So, what I'm wondering is, why transport the coal all the way up, only then to bring it down and to mill it down here? Well, anyway, I think once the coal is inside such a bucket, we're gonna put the bucket inside this thing. And then, it makes sense, this object is the burning chamber. So these coal particles burn inside there, and then they heat up water somewhere up there and this water becomes steam and then goes somewhere to the turbines let's try to find those turbines okay this makes sense let's quickly check for cameras and people This bird, I guess. 70 meters or something. I think I'm gonna go over there towards the chimneys. I hope to find the turbines over there. There's the chimney. There's so many doors. They are 
Oh, locks. Damn, that's a big door. I wanna know what's inside this thing. I'm just trying to find a way into that staircase. It's a bit tricky. Damn, that's wobbly. And it's super scary because it's so wet. I just saw some police cars. Not sure if they are for me, but just in case I should hide. I'm gonna go back into block B, go all the way down into the cellar, and just gonna spend some time there. I don't think the police was for me, because otherwise I would, I'm pretty sure I would have seen them already over there at the entrance. So I think I'm good, but I cannot be sure. I'm gonna go down now. Ooh, green pipes. What does that mean? Ah, uh -huh, interesting. So, I think... This is just an abbreviation now. This could mean cooling water. So maybe all these green pipes are for water. Oh boy. This is a big pipe. Wow, look at this. So big. So, what I'm currently trying to do is, um, I'm trying to find a way over to the other buildings. Currently, I'm still in block B on the lowest floor, and I hope to find some connections on the ground. Well, this big pipe seems to be a connection. I could fall through there, but I'm not sure if it's safe, so I'm not going to do that now. I saw some other connections further up to the other buildings. So that's something we could check out. Maybe we can get through there. By the way, this is also kind of a good place to sleep. It's kind of hidden and I got some little niches here. Damn, it's loud here. So many pipes. It's pretty impressive. I mean, the complexity of it. How do you keep track of it? I mean, how exactly it all works and how to maintain it and how to operate it. Ah, oh, there's water. Could this mean below this floor is a reservoir of water? Wow. So big. By the way, I just noticed above us is something blue and the green pipes go inside the blue container. You see that? So what does blue mean? Okay, so I was just reading some of those signs and this one, for example, says H cond, which could mean um, H for water and cond for condensation. So maybe not all of the green pipes are for cooling water. Maybe some of these green pipes also transport the water which gets uh, heated up by the coal. And maybe this blue container over here, it actually contains the cooling water. And then there are pipes going through that cooling container which contain the steam after it went through the turbine. 
So the cooling water cools that steam down, making it condensate. So this could make sense. So many cables. Okay, this is the second level. You've just taken a look at this plan. And look down here, it says turbine table. Let's go there. We are not far. Look at this. The two uh, concrete blocks are decoupled by those springs to dampening vibrations. Interesting. Yo, just found this little info plate. It has some crazy numbers on it. For example here it says 466.6 kilo amperes. Adds a whole lot of electrons per time. Oh, this look is interesting. What is that? Hmm. I'm not sure what this means. It kind of looks like a joint, but there's definitely strong electromagnetic radiation inside here. Maybe because of the turbine? I don't know. I haven't found it yet. Still looking for it. But I think I'm close. Maybe the turbine is not on this floor, which makes sense because of those massive decouplers. Maybe it's one floor up on that concrete object. Maybe that's the table we saw on the plan. Okay, I went up one level, but unfortunately this door is locked. Oh, what? It isn't? This. Mm -hmm. So these are all transformators. This is for the coal mill. And here's another electric plan. This seems to be the main electricity line. And it seems like the electricity needed to operate this power plant is completely separated from the electricity which is generated by this power plant. So I think they just take power from the main line here and over there and distribute it for whatever devices inside this plant and need power. For example, pumps and like the coal mill and of course also this building, I mean the lights and stuff. So I think basically this whole room is like a fuse box. Box. Okay, let's go and find the turbine. Ingresso vietato. Entre interdit prohibiro el paso. Kirmek yasaktiot. I don't know how to pronounce Turkish. No trespassing. Let's trespass. Down there is the ground level. That's the burning chamber. Yeah, so these are the ventilation shafts. So over here we have the burning chamber again. And these things over here, this is all ventilation. I guess they're just blowing air inside that chamber so the fire burns very hard. Okay, I think these are the big chambers we saw at the beginning, like where the coal falls in. And now it makes sense that this object which distributes the coal can move because there are actually multiple chambers next to each other. So the coal comes down here inside these things, whatever they are, and then they go down here and all the way down to the mills, to the coal mills. But still, I don't get why they would kind of transport the coal all the way up there, then to just let it fall down. Maybe these chambers just act as a buffer, as a cold buffer. Maybe that's the reason, I don't know. So this door is kind of locked, sort of, but I can see. Oh shit! I think we found it. Look at that. 
we made it. Okay, I think the blue object is the turbine. And then the shaft goes into that yellow thing, which is the generator. So they have already taken out some parts. It's ready for transport. It seems to be a big motor. No idea what this is. It's also a motor. Awesome. I think I want to go up there to get an overview of this whole hall. Ah, look, it says 30.762 meters. Someone added a one here. That's funny. And just look at this. Nice. It's so impressive. I mean, the complexity of it. So many pipes, so many cables, and motors, and valves, just to make it all work. It must be so difficult. How do you construct such a power plant? If any one of you happen to be a power plant engineer, please describe how the process works. I really want to know. Okay, I'm getting hungry. Let's eat something. Okay, found a nice little corner here. Still in the turbine room. I just want to chill a bit, eat something, and just enjoy being here. So, I was thinking about using the stove to make something warm. I don't see any smoke detectors or anything or gas detectors above me. So I think it's, it's okay if I make something hot. So what do we got? We got some chili sin carne. Actually out of the trash, I did some dumpster diving. Oh, it's burning. Oh no, the burn. This tastes like burnt coal. Anyway, having dinner in a turbine hall, how romantic. To be honest, this really is more romantic than sitting at a dinner table. Dinner table is kind of boring. This is the real thing. This I call romance. Okay, I ate a bit, I chilled a bit. The plan for now is make my bed and go to sleep. Or at least try to go to sleep because it's kind of loud here. I was thinking it would be kind of cool to sleep on that crane because then we got a nice view over the hole. Oh yeah, this place is so cool. And I'm all alone. I've seen no people. It's so relaxed. First thought, to sleep over there on the beam. Because from there you got the nicest view, but it's also exposed. So, I think instead I'm gonna sleep here. It's nicely hidden behind that crane. Got a little privacy here. My sleeping pad fits in nicely inside. Also matches the color. Ready is my bed. I'm gonna set my alarm clock to 6.30. Tomorrow is Sunday. I don't expect anyone to be here that early. <laughs> Actually, I don't expect anyone to be here at all. But just to be sure, I wanna get up early to get out of here before anyone comes. Sunrise will be at around 8.30. So I get some darkness when I'm getting out of here. Okay, then have a good night. Yeah, 6.30. Yeah, it's time to go. Okay, one last view. Time to go. Okay, so the plan is to go to ground level and then take the same way out I came in. And we still got darkness. Good. Okay.
Oh yeah, I didn't quite think about the water rising. So we are approaching that camera at the corner. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a fence. It's halfway underwater. Oh, I'm plain sight of the camera, shit. So what I'm currently doing is climbing over the fence. But there's spikes on top and also barbed wire. And now I'm hanging there with my shoe lace. Shit. Good. Now I'm free. But oh, man, this was pretty sketchy. Could have gone wrong, but it worked. And I'm out. And yeah, I would say that's the end of this adventure. We got in pretty easily, got out more or less easily. I hope you had some fun, maybe learned something about power plants. See ya!